Hello learner, greetings of the day. Let us discuss about the other 2D transformation techniques. We have already seen three transformation techniques that is translation, rotation and scaling. Now the other two dimensional transformation techniques are reflection and shear. We will see one by one what is reflection and we will see later in detail what is shear. First of all reflection technique. So when in common words the reflection is nothing but when you stand in front of the mirror uh, the you see yourself in the mirror. So what is that? Your reflection will be uh, observed in the mirror. So same way transformation that produces a mirror image of an object is called reflection. So it is something like if an object is placed in front of the mirror, the reflection of the object is produced on the mirror. So that you call it as a reflection and we call this reflection as a type of transformation, a 2D transformation. So how this can be obtained, how the reflection can be obtained, what type of uh, uh, operation is required in order to produce the reflection it is the rotation that you have to perform but the rotation should be done about 180 degree so if the rotation of the object is done by 180 degree then you get a reflection of the object so you get to see here few images so what is it actually this is an object and suppose if i just have only half of half portion of this object and if I want to get the same like reflection of this particular part in the left side also so just rotate this particular object about 180 degree so if you perform the rotation you get to see the reflection of the object so this is called reflection let's see the reflection about the line y is equal to 0 or we can produce the reflection of the object about x axis. So how to find or how to produce the reflection of the object along x axis. We will just see that now. So uh, if this is the original position of the object, let us assume that the position is given by 1, 2, 3 and this object if I have to flip, if I have to uh, uh, get the reflection of this object about x axis. So then I need to flip it. So flip only y values. What happens when the object is reflected about x axis? x values remains unchanged. So x values remains the same. All that changes is the y values. What happens to y values? y values gets flipped. So what is the meaning of flipping? It is just negative. It becomes negative. Okay. So all the positive y values becomes negative. So here you can just see the angle of rotation. This also can be performed by applying rotation. So angle of rotation would be 180 degree. Okay. Anti-clockwise direction. So here uh, uh, you can just see the reflection matrix as I already said x values remains unchanged. So first row indicates x values, second row indicates y values and the last third row indicates z. So you can just see here x values remains unchanged but what happens to y? It is flipped. It becomes negative there uh, and then uh, z values remains unchanged. So it is something like you are rotating about x axis. So here all that changes is y only. So since this is uh, uh, a 2D object, we can just concentrate on, concentrate on x and y values. Now let's see the opposite of that. 
द अदर पॉजिबिलिटी रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द लाइन ऑब्जेक्ट अबाउट द लाइन एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो और इन अदर वर्ड्स रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट अबाउट वाई एक्सेस सो हाउ द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज ऑप्टेंड अबाउट वाई एक्सेस सो इफ दिस इज द ऑब्जेक्ट हियर दिस इज द ओरिजिनल पोजिशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट आई वॉन्ट टू रोटेट इट अबाउट y axis so how do i rotate so you can just see it is a clockwise rotation if i have to apply rotation it's a clockwise rotation and minus 180 degree i can apply as an angle of rotation so now since i want to obtain the reflection about about y axis as you already know all y values remains unchanged so if i have to rotate uh, reflect about x axis x x values remains unchanged now since i have to get the reflection about y axis y values remains unchanged so what happens to x value x value gets flipped so that's all so here y values remains unchanged this is the reflected object so you can just see the reflection matrix x values gets flipped so it becomes negative so whereas uh, y values y values remains unchanged as it is okay so about the z you don't have to worry since it is a 2d object so what is the equation there so this is a reflection matrix which should be multiplied with the every point of the object that has to be uh, of which you have to obtain the reflection so reflection matrix should be multiplied with every point so that you obtain the final resultant reflected point p dash so this is about the reflection to continue with uh, here we can also perform the reflection or we can also obtain the reflection that is perpendicular to x y plane so perpendicular to x y plane and that passes through the origin so we can obtain the reflection something like this so if i have an object here this is original position of the object and now i want to obtain the reflection of the object Uh, that is perpendicular to x y plane we know which is x y plane that is this is x y plane this is a x y plane we can also call this as x y plane right so here i want to obtain the reflection about x y plane and it is it should pass through the origin so origin is over here so how to obtain the reflection so whenever you are taking x y plane it's perpendicular to x y plane remember x both x and y value changes so both x and y value should be flipped so it is now the reflection happening about x y so x y plane is considered so in that case both x and y values gets flipped off so here flipped off so you can just see here uh, the first row indicates x value so it gets flip, flipped here next row indicates y so even this gets flipped and then the last row is z so you don't have to worry so here it's a 2d object so you can see here again reflection matrix should be multiplied with every point so that you get the reflected point so this is how you can perform the reflection about xy plane so next we can just see here how the reflection is obtained about a fixed point again in the same xy plane so earlier we had seen reflection about xy plane but about which point about origin we had seen about origin how to obtain the reflection uh, in the xy plane we had seen but now the plane remains the same xy plane but this time not the reflection about origin but this time the reflection is about a fixed point and let's call that as p reflect so how about this point we can obtain the reflection you can just see here this is the original object and you know after reflection actually x y values both gets flipped off uh, and now uh, the uh, point here is p reflect about this point i have to uh, perform the reflection so for that what are you supposed to do like how we did for uh, uh, how we did our other transformations like translation rotation and scaling about an arbitrary point same way that pr same procedure should be applied over here also to obtain the reflection about an arbitrary point p reflect so all that we have to do here is just get this particular point p reflect to origin so i have to get it to origin getting to origin is nothing but i have to perform reverse translation 
So once I perform reverse translation, at this point now you can perform the reflection, you can obtain the reflection about now origin, but remember which plane it is about x, y plane. So once we perform the reflection, once we obtain the reflection, next you can go back to the original position again in the forward direction. So forward translation is later applied in order to get back to the original position that was P reflect. Same procedure is followed. Now the one more way that we have, the next way that is getting the reflection about the axis or you can say about a line where x and y are interchanged or in other words y is equal to x. So you can just say here y and x are interchanged. So it is now something like you assume a line here and this line is uh, diagonal, you can just call this as a diagonal line. and uh, this is nothing but now the axis about which I want to obtain the reflection and now I am just assuming that this particular line is y is equal to x. So what is y is equal to x? I am just interchanging. In the place of x I am taking y and in the place of y I am taking x. So it is interchanging. So if this is our original position, I am going to obtain the reflection of that object here about this line y is equal to x and I am getting the reflection over here. So in this case what is going to happen to my reflection matrix? What happens to my x values and what happens to my y values? So nothing here, when I have a, I have to perform such type of reflection where x and y are interchanged, my first row in the reflection matrix there is you can just see x it is just indicating y since x and y are interchanged. So first row is now my y values it indicates y and the second row indicates x. Why? Because it is interchanged. We are reflecting about the line y is equal to x. Last row remains the same. So this is how you can perform the reflection about the diagonal line with interchanged y and x. We can just see now the working of that principle. So what is that? Re getting the reflection about the line y is equal to x. So how can we do that? So again for doing that actually somewhere here it was the original object and here we are supposed to get the reflection of that particular object. But in order to get this, this line you cannot perform the reflection, you cannot perform this operation without the fixed point. And remember every time our fixed point should be origin in order to have the reflection. So what can we do there? We can follow the same principle. So what is that? First we can perform the clockwise rotation so that the line actually gets oriented to the x axis. So the angle of rotation let us take it as 45 degree. So orient this particular line about x axis with by an angle 45 degree. So now this rotation is performed about origin. So about fixed point as origin and now once you get it here about x axis the line is once it is obtained about the x axis assume that the axis is now x axis and now uh, origin is over here now you can perform the reflection so whenever I perform the reflection here remember the uh, after I perform the reflection you cannot leave the object over here I am performing the reflection remember about x axis. So after the reflection is obtained you cannot leave the object over here as I said you have to orient back that particular line to its original position. So earlier it was 45 degree and now it is in the backward direction so minus 45 degree so you can say reverse rotation is applied so to get back the axis in the original position. Okay. So once I get it back in the original position now I am done with my reflection. I can now perform the reflection or I can obtain now the reflection about the line y is equal to minus x. Earlier we had seen the reflection about the diagonal line y is equal to x. It was somewhere over here. Now the opposite of that it is y is equal to minus x. So our original object is over here. Now I want to reflect get the reflection of that object here. So about this line. So about this line. So you can just see here I, I want to 
apply the reflection or perform reflection about y axis now so here i can orient this particular i cannot directly get the reflection here about this line so because fixed point fixed point if at all i have to orient the fixed point should be origin so here what i can do is i have to get the object to the origin or about this y axis now i have to perform the orientation or reflection so that is why get the line or orient the line towards y axis so orienting the uh, line is nothing but hap is happening in which direction it is now in the clockwise direction and what might be the angle of rotation now in the clockwise direction so the angle of rotation would be 45 degree so it is since it is clockwise i'm going to consider it as minus 45 degree so about minus 45 degree i'm going to orient the line along y axis so once that is done now uh, i can say that my origin fixed point is fix is ready and the axis is y axis now i am ready to get the uh, reflection of the object so once i get the reflection of the object that is about y axis i cannot leave the object over there so that reflected object should be projected back or you can say it, it should be oriented back uh, in the anti clockwise direction by taking angle of rotation as 45 degree so here the counter clockwise rotation is happening by 45 degree so once you get the reflection now the last type of transformation technique here is shear the other word for shear is skew so here the name itself indicates shear is nothing but changing the shape shear has to do something with the shape so changing the shape may be deforming the object so distorting the object or uh, shape of the object uh, is uh, called shear so uh, this is actually happening here in this way uh, you can just see here this is the original object and this is our uh, sheared object and now uh, this is the original object uh, uh, okay you can just see here shearing is happening along x axis so object is straight over here and now you are changing the shape of the object by pulling by pulling you can just assume that you are pulling this object by this point so you're just pulling the object from by this point so when you pull the object by this point that entire object gets distorted or entire object gets elongated you can say along x so here object shape gets changed up earlier it was a square or rectangle now it became a parallelogram so this is shearing about one point shear point so you can call this as a point about which you are pulling the object shear point okay and uh, you can see the uh, see the other possibility also this is the original object now you can shear the object or pull the object upwards so which point you have taken again again you have taken this particular point upwards in order to uh, shear the object so this is actually shear wherein you apply and change the shape of the object